Hey, hi everyone. Welcome back. I get the unenviable position of standing between the food and the booze. So I'm going to try to go quickly. Uh, first of all, I'll say that Lulu is a Mashery customer. And for those of you who aren't yet Mashery customers, I have to tell you a story about how wonderful they are. Um, we arrived about 12.30 yesterday and came up out of the BART and they had arranged for the entire city to be dressed in Lulu Orange <laughs> yesterday. Um, and you know, at no extra charge to the company, I thought that was, I thought that was fantastic. Um, so I'm gonna go through a little bit and talk about uh, what Lulu does and then present a really interesting use case that we actually just found out about um, a few weeks ago. And that's the way you want these things to happen. Once you, when your APIs are in the field, people are doing wonderful things while you're, while you're in bed and you wake up the next morning and discover them. So Lulu was founded by uh, Bob Young, who most of you may know is the founder of Red Hat. And I have this slide up here because uh, Bob had a really less than optimal experience after he tried to publish a book about what he did at Red Hat and ended up going through the traditional publishing model and as you can see, had plenty of remaindered books in his garage, such that he constructed a desk at the office. Um, and, and really, that's what got him thinking about, there's got to be a better way to do, the, do things. So I want to just start by running through how the traditional publishing model works. And it's been working this way for years, for centuries, really. And it evolved this way for a reason. And that's because each link along this supply chain does its own business, has a real degree of logistical complexity that it, that it solves historically. So it was needed. But when, we, when Lulu sat down and looked at this model, what we noticed is that you can't really just lift and shift the old way onto the internet. And one of the things you notice is the distance between creators and buyers. And the internet's all about collapsing that distance, about removing the intermediaries between those who are producing content and those who are consuming and discussing it. So the first thing that we knew was that our platform had to do that. Um, the second thing is that if you look at the, this model here, it's a really difficult model to break into. It's very daunting. The idea of incredible startup costs, a real ramp up on technology and uh, sort of the fulfillment aspects of starting a business around publishing are really challenging. Uh, so what Lulu did was take a look at this and say, what if we did this a different way? and use the internet and use the technology platform to basically connect creators and buyers directly together. And so that's what we've spent the last eight years doing. Um, we've, been, we've been building up, spending eight years and, and millions of dollars actually, solving the really hard issues. How do you take files of all different formats and convert that content and parse it and store it and transform it into really good looking paperback or hardback or eBooks? How do you build up a way to print and fulfill and ship these books all around the world at, at very low cost. How do you distribute them? Not everyone, though we'd love it, comes to lulu.com to buy books. So authors want their books available everywhere. How, how do you solve that challenge? So long story short, we spent the last eight years solving those issues and building out the platform. And then as Bob Young comes from the open source community, he did the next logical, fiscally prudent thing which was to come to me and say, go figure out a way to give it all away for free. So, so that was the challenge. Um, when you think about the, the market, I mean, a lot of what you've heard today is different ways to think about monetizing through an API platform. The traditional uh, global consumer educational and book publishing market is about $112 billion. And that's great. That's interesting. That's not what we're after. Um, and the reason we're not after it is because the most significant stat that we talk about at Lulu is that 19 out of every 20 books that get submitted to a mainstream publisher is rejected. And so if you think about that for a minute, you'd have to be crazy with those kinds of odds to even begin to submit your book to a, a mainstream publisher. So think that's 19 out of 20 that never make it that far. An untold huge percentage that never even get written. And that's, the, that's where the long tail book market and the long tail content market comes into play. That's what Lulu's interested in providing a platform for people to uh, leverage and expose and publish that kind of work. So what do our APIs offer? The first thing, as I mentioned, is it's a free and an open platform. Um, and what do I mean by platform? Well, 
It's really the end-to-end -end life cycle of a business. It, you're, you're publishing, you're distributing, you're shipping, you're fulfilling, you're tracking your sales and royalty management. All of that is part of our platform and that's our mission is exposing that through our APIs. Um, it's somewhat different than some of the models that you've heard us, uh, others talking about today, which is we want to we, we want to provide access to our entire technology. So a lot of APIs um, really expose data. Danny had the, had the great, you know, the flasher slide. If, if the value in your business is in your data, that makes all the sense in the world. For us, the value is in the technology, the mechanisms by which you can go from a great idea to a, a paperback book at your neighbor's, at your neighbor's uh, doorstep three days later. Um, and also really what we're after, as I said, that long tail market faces a real daunting proposition to actually get their, get their remarkable ideas into the world. So we want to empower by lowering the barrier to entry. So I've touched on some of this, some of the ways that, that the Lulu APIs can help. We eliminate startup costs. Uh, because you're leveraging the, the solved problems of the publishing industry end to end on the platform, these startup costs are a lot lower. Uh, another interesting thing is, especially for long tail books, this is a community of creators who are passionate, emotional, and really, we, we like to call them knowledge ninjas. They may be ex subject matter experts in something that is very obscure, but the community that cares about it is deeply passionate about it. It's difficult to find them. It's difficult to reach that community. So provi by providing APIs into our catalog, that allows different websites around, around the uh, internet to show and display just that, just that content that their community, whether it's they care about knitting, or they care about motorcycles, or they care about gardening, all of a sudden that content actually finds the readers where they are. Um, we have a very simple and lucrative business model that essentially turns the publishing industry model on its head which is 80% uh, of all the profits stay with the writer, as do all the intellectual property rights. So there's no, it's not about signing contracts. Uh, we're not a publisher, we're really a platform. If there's one thing that I want everybody to walk away with, it's, it's the understanding of that differentiation. And so at the end of it all, what we do is we, we enable you to focus on what you do best. And that is, you know the audience, you know the content that you care about, you work on marketing and reaching that audience and building, nurturing a community of creators. So I'm going to jump into uh, a case study here, and Ryan mentioned this earlier. Um, this guy, Ben Barnett, who I actually spoke to for the first time just over the weekend, is a 24-year-old web developer in the UK, and his mom was trying to put together a, a photo book and was, was uh, you know, shopping online for different ways to do that. And he, you know, was helping her out and decided there has to be a better way. There has to be an interesting way to do that. So he came to Lulu and dived right into our APIs and rolled up his sleeves and created this site called Before I And it allows, every book has an email address. Your friends and your family email in photos, memories, text. And at the end of it all, his application puts it all together and publishes it through the Lulu platform uh, and then and, and allows everybody to go and purchase copies of the book. What I found out today actually at lunch is that Lauren from Mashery actually found this application and took it into one of her kids' classrooms. So they're using Ben's application, I have to get this straight, this is, they're using Ben's application built on the Lulu platform to make my third grade yearbook. So all the kids in the class are now using his platform to create a yearbook, a use case even the developer who built the APIs for something very specific hadn't thought of. And that just shows you the potential that uh, these kinds of things have to mushroom. Um, so the report card from Ben is really, uh, he, he, did, he didn't have the time or the money to put any marketing spend into this. Despite that, just through, a, he said he was spending a dollar a day on keywords, on SEO, and he's had hundreds of signups uh, with no marketing spend in under three months. And the nice thing about uh, an API, about all the APIs you're hearing about, is that they're platform agnostic. They don't care what language you program in. They don't care what your specialty is. If you, it's a very simple and straightforward integration. 
And so we're really hopeful that uh, this, is going to, this is going to blossom for us. We have about 100 uh, developers registered. Our APIs launched. We launched our developer portal about five or six months ago. Uh, we have about 45 applications and about 10 different sites and applications that are live. And those include niche publishers. I think we're going to hear from Twitter a little later, but somebody came and created a site where you can now use the Lulu API to publish your tweets as a book. Not sure we want to look at that in 10 years, but the use case is there. Um, Another example, there's a site that's allowing you to collect your, your travel documents and photos and memories and publish those and sell them. Uh, and again, the, 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 our platform will allow you to kind of reach retail distributors as well as uh, lulu.com. Um, textbook publishers. Again, we're, our sweet spot is really knowledge-based content. Uh, and so we find that uh, textbook publishers are, are using our site. And I think somebody else spoke about a WordPress plugin. Um, WordPress is another fantastic open source platform, so the guys over at Pressbooks had a great idea. Why does every WordPress site have to consist of posts and comments and blogs? Why not use that open source platform and, use, and create a true book, con book creation tool? So they've done that and integrated with our APIs. So I, I will stop there. That's really uh, what I wanted to get across. Um, we have had a great deal of fun with this whole program. It's still a daunting challenge. Don't know where it's going next, but really that's up to you. So we look forward to seeing what's coming in the future. Thank you. So you really tied yourself to the mast. I mean, this is a business now that's totally about the API. Well, that's noble and good, and judging from the growth, probably working out pretty well, right? It is. It's working I mean, out. It's, it's the working signals out well, are so. appropriate. You really can't reach. Uh, we 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 did our first million authors by reaching them one at a time. Your first million authors. Our first million users were using an on-site tool, one author, one book, one at a time, and that doesn't scale. Um, it scales to a million, but when you really want to start reaching, can I just put like a million is a lot of authors? A million is a lot, but not when you think about how many do you want. I want you. If I get you, then <laughs> we can we'll retire. Yeah. All right. <laughs>